Hello everybody, my name is Professor Wyatt, and welcome to a new series that I'm going to be starting on the channel. I know, I've got a lot of series going on right now, but I like to add a little bit of diversity to everything that I do here. But, for this series, we're going to be playing one of my favorite, and this actually is one of my favorite, story-driven survival games, I guess you could call it. And I'm not going to be playing the vanilla. If you do want to see a vanilla series, which, if you don't know what vanilla means, it means that it's the original unmodded game. If you do want to see a unmodded series, then make sure to put that down in the comments below, and I'll start up a unmodded series after this one. But for now, we're going to be playing with mods, and the mods that I have downloaded and loaded up on here, and I might add more as we go, but... For now, we've just got Disabled Drop for Survival Mode, which disables the item drop when you die in Survival Mode. I've also got Perennial Crops, because in Starbound, sometimes the there's some crops, like wheat, where you'll just harvest it, and then you'll have to replant that, and that's really annoying. So I got that, just to get rid of this, or that problem. And then I also got Improved Food Descriptions, which will add descriptions to food like how much it'll how much hunger it'll fill and what it'll do for you I've also got weapon stats and that shows the weapon level the weapon level the DPS DPE all of that stuff for the weapon and then I've also got XS mods or not mods mechs X -S oh man, this is a hard one to say. X S Max Vehicle Edition. Oh boy. But this basically just adds mechs into the game that you can go around and fire at things. You know, it's it's a mech. No description needed. And then I've also got learn blueprints on scan, which will enable you to learn blueprints on scan as it would say in the title I've also got Fracken Universe and you can see right here powered by Fracken Universe I don't know if you can actually see the cursor yeah you can see the cursor okay so what Fracken Universe does is it adds a whole bunch of biomes a whole bunch of weapons a whole bunch of dungeons and micro dungeons and different worlds and stars into Starbound, and that is amazing. This is the biggest mod in Starbound, and th it, this is my favorite right here. It adds submarines, it adds all sorts of stuff. So we'll be able to see a lot of stuff that Fracking Universe has to offer. I've also got food stack, because you can't stack food in the game. It's... Um, it's really annoying. It takes up a lot of inventory space, so with food stack on, that'll that'll be good. I've also got ground penetrating radar scanner, which shows nearby caves and ore deposits. I've also got compact crops, garden bot two reboot edition, and blood mod. Blood mod adds um, it adds gore into the game rather than the original just flash and then they dissipate into plasma or whatever that was this time it's a little more realistic and then um garden bot it adds a whole bunch of robots into the game that do your bidding and compact crops does exactly what it says it compacts the crops so I'm going to go and set up my character, and I'm going to make a quick cut here, and we'll jump into the game once I have made my character. Alright, I'm back, and I have created my character. Uh, as always, we're going with Professor What, and this time I actually can fit my entire name in here, so that's good. Um, and some of my friends are going to be saying, Garrett, that's not your hairdo, but... It's the closest thing that I could get to my hairdo. So, just don't spam that in the chat, guys. Just please. Okay, 
But you see, we're playing on survival here. E to survive, drop items on death. I've disabled the drop items on death because that's a pain in the butt. But I like to eat to survive aspect of the game. So we're going to keep that. And let's get on into the game. Okay. Well. Well. There we go. Forgot that I had to click on my character there. So, this, I, I love this game. Oh man, I'm getting memories just from the loading screen. Wake up. Wake up, you have overslept. Or I should read this in a robot voice, should I? Shouldn't I, yeah. And I'm awake. To interact with a nearby person, door, or other object, you should hover over it with your cursor and press E, if you are awake enough to do so. Now, lucky for you guys, you don't have to deal with this visual glitch that's right here, and it just keeps flashing on the screen. Oh. Your uniform is available to collect from your personal locker. It is quite impressive that you can remain so serene when you are running so late. Well done to you. Hey, Professor White, can I have a moment to chat? Sure. Soon you'll be a real protector uh, with your very own matter manipulator. Must be exciting. Yeah, it will be. But right now I gotta get to the graduation ceremony. Okay. Just gonna put all of this on. I can shift. Yeah, I can shift click. Okay, that's good. Got to remember how to play. And you sell stuff, don't you? Yeah. You, okay. Let's just head on over to the graduation because now I'm finally graduating into a protector. Even though I have literally done nothing to do this, I have just started up a game. Hello, Jenner. Oh, man. I just, oh, what's this? Oh, never mind. I don't want that. I'm not going to wear a flower today, guys. Sorry. So let's get on over here. And here's the stage. Cutscene. My fellow protectors, today we come together to witness the protectorate grow. For 500 years we have stood proud here on earth, drawing together races of all kinds in the same, in the name of peace, excuse me. Our task, to, pr to protect our fellow beings, to support house, and to educate those who seek our aid, and to foster accord between those who aspire to it. Today, in the name of peace, we welcome our newest compa- comp ah! Never mind. You guys can just read this. It's too small on my screen. Huh? What was that? What? What the? Oh no! Tentacle monster! You, graduate, take the matter manipulator and run. Get out of here. Okay, we gotta go. Yeah! There we go. Now we've got the, map, uh, the matter manipulator. Oh gosh, there's tentacles everywhere. No, people, they're everywhere. Okay. So, got the matter manipulator now. Just gonna go and, oh, it's so slow in the beginning. I forgot about this. It's been so long since I've played the game. Eh. Make it through the door, okay. And I do remember that there is, like, the best weapon in the game in the beginning. That is something that I do remember about this. And I gotta go and get it somewhere. Okay. Nope. Okay. Gotta dig some more. Sorry for the lack of commentary, it's kind of difficult to comment on this game because there's not a lot. 
to comment. Yeah, here's the the best sword in the game right here. Ooh. But right now it's not the best, but later it will be. You can upgrade it to be the best. It's just not right now. Oh yeah, and there's the gore mod. Oh. That's that's quite a bit of gore. <laughs> okay, then going to take these bandages because they are quite helpful. And we're going to get on the ship and leave. Let's get out of here. Oh, Earth. Earth is in ruins. Oh, man. It's just great to get back into this game. And we're awake. Please reboot the system. Okay. I am Sail, your ship-based artificial intelligent lattice. I, oh, should have read that faster. I am also programmed to offer you information and advice. Earth was attacked by an unknown force and was subs subsequently annihilated. The ship's navigation systems were damaged in our escape. Our location is currently unknown. We are currently in orbit around an unknown, an unknown world. The ship is heavily damaged, and we are unable to leave orbit. I suggest you beam down to the planet's surface using the teleporter and search for supplies and perhaps a means of fixing the ship. Okay. Sorry if I stutter on some of the words there. It's kind of difficult to... Oh. Haven't actually seen this. This is part of the, um, the Fracking Universes mod. Because you see the F and the U there. Not in that order. It doesn't stand for anything. Ooh, a kitty. Um, but, yeah, sorry if I started on some of the words there. It's kind of difficult to read them with the... Um, with the small screen, and it's, it's just difficult. What's this? Wait, I press control. What did I do? Okay. Oh, whoa, okay. I have found a small business card with a star chart location relatively nearby that boasts about amazing scientific knowledge. I've marked the location on my charts and can access it via my ship's sail. I will also take all of these codexes here. Um, can I just use these or something? Okay, yeah, I can. So I will add these all to the codex. And then we will beam down to the surface. Probably should have done this off screen. Sorry about that, but... Yeah. Mods, man. They add a lot. Like a lot of books. I'll get to reading those later. But for now, we're just going to store them back in the... In the chest. So, we will beam down, and this is where our mission starts. We will get through the first dungeon, and then I think that's where we're going to end the episode. We also want to be collecting these flowers, because you can... Oh, we already spawned next to a camp, that's nice. But you can go and make potions or health syringes. Oh, livestock grow on a whole lot... Grow a whole lot faster when you toss them some cattle feed to munch on. Grind up corn in your hand mill to get some. Yep, looks like this is part of the... Part of the quest, because... Or not quest, but the mod, because... I have not seen this in the game before, and it hasn't updated, I think. But they are going to be adding an update soon that's going to completely revamp the spaceship's travel system. And that'll be cool. Um, oh gosh, oh gosh, he's mean, he's a baddie, oh, oh. that actually legitimately scared me, oh, oh, oh man, that was completely unexpected, no, I've had enough with you guys, you can go and die, oh great, we had to spawn on the planet when it was night. Well, at least it makes the series interesting, right? <laughs> Ow. Ow. Stop it. 
Okay. And we're going to be grabbing all of these seeds here because... Oh yeah, forgot to start chopping down trees too. Want to also be doing that because we're going to be making our, our house. I don't think we're going to be making the house here on this planet, but we will definitely make a house on a planet that I like. Ooh, and that's a carrot? No. No. Go down in the hole. Stay in that hole. So I believe if we go... Oh, it's a west. Oh, gosh. Meant to open my inventory. Still not used to the controls. This is what happens when you switch games just randomly. Okay. Crafting is C, right? Yeah. Uh, where's... Where's cattle feed? I don't think there's a cattle... F there's any cattle feed here. No, I don't see any. Oh, well. Won't be able to complete this mission just yet, but eventually. And we can't get up there. And this is why we have blocks. And I've run out of blocks now. That, that's, that's just lovely. Uh, well, we'll head up there the hard way, I guess. Ooh, lag spike. Oh, man. I love this game. It's just such a nice looking game. It's really well made. I love the mechanics. The music is amazing. If you haven't already, if you couldn't already tell, that's a bear. I have never seen a bear. Oh, and a raccoon. I'm just going to kill the raccoon. Bear, bear, bear. Are you hostile, bear? I do not want to mess with this bear. Because we have bears where I live, and they are not to be messed with. Okay, bear. I don't bother you. You don't bother me. That dog looks like it'll hurt me. Yep. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. He hurts a lot. No, 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 no. Oh, ho, ho, ho. okay, yeah, I think I'm going to go and heal myself here. That was a little scary. Not not too much, but it, it was enough to get me startled in fear for my character's life. Uh, this isn't permadeath, or permadeath right now, but we can probably have a hardcore series on the channel at one point. If you guys do want to see that, but... Just know I won't last long at all, because this game is just hardcore. Just death all around. And now we found it. Finally! We finally found it. Die. I am sick of you monsters. Oh, man. And we're actually almost out of time for the video, so... I think we're just gonna go and investigate this this ruin here and then that's where we're gonna call the episode so in order to open this gateway we're going to need fragments which are in the other direction so for now yeah you see if I go and I track this quest here I think that might be the one I don't know it's not telling me which direction it is I'm so glad the bears aren't hostile that would be really bad. But, yeah. Ooh, is that a fossil? I think that might be a fossil. Right here? Because usually they're only in the back walls, but since I've got mods downloaded, it might be in the... They might be in the front now, too. Either that or that's a different... A different ore. No, it's looking like a fossil, all right. I wonder how I get it. Or if I need the brush like you would usually need in the vanilla game. So. Pretty soon here, this... Oh, gotta chop down the vine first before I can mine this one. There we go. So let's go and see what these bones are. 
Path of the Hunter. Bone is pretty useful right now. With it, you can fashion weapons and armor. Try making a bone spear on your anvil. Okay. What's this? Genetic material. Unaltered genetic material used for scientific research. Oh yeah, that's right. I've got to go to that science place. Uh, I think for next episode, we're just going to do the main mission, and then we're going to do the modded mission in the episode after that if we don't have time to do it in that episode. Yeah, you see, you would usually need to brush to harvest that, but... Yeah, I think this is where I'm going to end off the series. I'm just going to beam back up to my ship and do the outro. So, if you liked what you see here, then make sure to give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, then make sure to do so. And if you are subscribed, then make sure to hit that notification bell down below. And if you have any suggestions for what I should do in this series or other series, then make sure to put that in the comments below. I'm Professor What, and I'll see you in the next episode.